Good evening. It is the Adrenalized Artist coming back with my um, drawings that I did live, well not live, that I did in my last video a few days ago, maybe almost even a week ago. So I wanted to follow up and yeah, that little rattling you hear, that's these. My, my uh, markers. I um, just wanted to follow up at least get a good start on coloring my characters and do a little bit of talking with you. I know it's been a minute. It's been kind of a rough, interesting week for me. I am I know that people are going through a lot of things. I'm just drinking water, which you'll hear me periodically do. And um, I just thought maybe it was time to have a little chit chat. Drawing the day away. I'm so for those who do not know and are new to this channel, again, I'm the Adrenalized Artist. I am not a, um, oh, that's a mole I actually drew on her. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's been a week. Um, I'm not a trained artist, meaning I did not go to art school, but I just enjoy the fun of creating music, drawing drawings, doing some paintings, uh, doing some kind of artsy things. And I've been like this my entire life. I kind of went away from it for a minute, returned to it, and um, now I've been going strong a few years and I'm not looking back. Um, I feel like as long as I have breath in me, this is what I'm going to do, even if I'm doing something else. Uh, let's say for sustenance, for a living, for survival, I will always come back to being a creative, expressive being. I'm, and I believe that we all are. We all have it in us somewhere. Um, it just has to be kind of teased out, um, for lack of better terms. So welcome, 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 welcome. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome and thank you for hanging in there. Ugh, this year has been kind of crazy. Ugh. So really quickly, two things you may hear. We're in the middle of a thunderstorm um, in the desert. So I don't know how long I'll be taping this. I hope to get through it. If not, I may have to do a part three, which includes even some painting because I'm I've been in a painting mood for the past couple of days. Or, if I'm really crafty with my editing, I will put it all together in a vlog. Um, the other thing is, I think there may be a cricket in here. I hate crickets. I'm, I'm not good with things that move that I'm not expecting. Like, for instance, people. And even with the people, I, I kind of have to know you a little bit first. Um, you know, I'm always open to meeting new people, but it's easier for me online just because of my own little weird quirks. Um, and the other thing is um, dogs. I love, I love animals, but I also respect and revere them. Meaning I know that dogs bite. I mean, hey, my own dog bit me um, a few weeks ago. If you're new, uh, look for that video. It's not on camera him biting me, of course, but just I talk about the aftermath of that and the pain in my leg. I was like, oh my gosh, that little stinker, he hurt me. <laughs> my dog is, is small. He's in the toy category um, of, of dogs, of canines. Uh, he's a palm. Um, but anyway, I love animals. I think they're adorable. They're interesting. They teach us a lot. But I revere and respect them because I know that, um, you know, sometimes they misinterpret what we're doing. We misinterpret what they're doing. And um, things happen. This is a long little intro. Let me get right into this. <laughs> I'll just keep talking. Oh, so once again, I'm trying a little bit of a different setup. I'm trying to find the best ways to film 
in this space and given all that's happening in my life, I'm the caretaking situation that I'm in. I have a feeling it's going to pick up some. It's making me anxious because I don't know what to expect and I don't know how impactful it's going to be. For those who are new, I am I have my senior parents in my life whom I love, respect, and adore. And one of them is heading towards, it sounds like maybe a series of surgeries. And I'm nervous. Naturally, I'm nervous for my parent. You know, we always want our loved ones to come through everything okay. The surgeon has an excellent reputation. Um, from what I'm gathering, even in the country, let alone just in our area, like he's, he's renowned, he's solid. I'm, my concern is the other health issues that my parent has going on. And so, you know, I get worried. I am a recovering worrier. <laughs> um, and I got it from one of my parents. I have one parent that seems to be just a little too chill for anything that's comfortable for most people. And the other parent is quite boisterous, talkative, and worries a lot. Praise a lot, don't get me wrong. You know, we, we spiritual family, we, we pray. Um, but then, turns around and worries. And so one day, just in my own adult quest for faith, I guess I was like, maybe midway my adulthood, and I thought, you know what, I just heard a voice. And I kind of get what people say when they say the voice of God. For me, that's what this was, because it wasn't anything but this voice. And I feel like the voice of God sometimes is within what sounds like your voice, but it's not words that you would typically use, if that makes sense. This voice said, do you believe in me or not? And I was like, whoa. Just in my head one day, that's what I heard. Do you believe in me or not? If you say you believe in me, if you say you have faith in me, why are you praying and then getting up worrying? That's that's nonsense. It makes no sense. Stop doing that. So after I heard that, uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> those of us who, who grew up now under this, uh, we know. You can't be hearers and not doers of the word. So, and if none of this hits for you, that, that's cool. You know, if you're like, well, whatever, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't subscribe to that. All right. I'm just telling you, this is what happened to me. So, I came up with the saying that has pretty much started to become my truth. I don't worry, I pray. You know, I can't, the, the parent that I have that does this worrying does enough worrying for probably everybody in our whole family and then some. So I don't worry, I don't subscribe to that, I pray. And when my brother was ill at the same time as one of our other parents and they were in the hospital at the same time, and we were, you know, in shifts. I'll go see this one. You go see that one. And then we'll swap. Whew. We were praying. We naturally wanted him to come home as healthy and whole as he possibly could have been. And that just was not meant to be. His body was too fragile for that. And he went on uh, his transition. Um, but I feel him and sometimes I can really talk about him and not cry, not get emotional, like, you know, sad. Sometimes I can talk about him and laugh and other times I can't. Um, and I never know when any of those things are going to be just kind of as I'm talking. 
I get a revelation as to how far I can go with it as I'm talking. So for some reason, I'm fixated on the lips tonight. I'm giving, giving lipstick. Lipstick. Uh-oh, I can't see. This is the thing about shooting the way I am. So I have this set up in a way that's hard for me to see. Oh, and if any of you saw the last video in which I was drawing these and it just seemed to have abruptly stopped, that's because I ran out of memory on my phone. <laughs> um, I shoot with my phone for now. My plan is to get a camera soon and some podcasting equipment because I want to go there. I want to make my sound better and I want to make my shots more pleasing to the eye. So we'll see how far we go. And um, that's my plan to kind of help things out for you guys. Now, other than all of that, wild things happened at my day job. I won't go any, into any details, except to say that we didn't see any of it coming and it was kind of 